Welcome back to the Holistic Oncology Strategy Review Series. And this is one of the queries I got from Colin from Washington. He'd like to know how important is oxygen in fighting cancer? So let's get into some understanding around that. Now, where does our energy come from? It comes from the mitochondria and 80% of these cells. Energy comes from oxygen. Hence the fact that oxygen is extremely important. Before I go on, for my existing clients, at the end you'll know what type of, of quantum code you should be doing and then also an invitation that you can also submit your own request to know the different things that's on your mind about how to approach oncology holistically. All right, so let's first see how does oxygen spread throughout the cells. Now we know we've got red blood cells and these red blood cells are either oxygenated or not. Okay, the or not is the danger. So we need it to, to have oxygen. So when we breathe in, it turns into a liquid oxygen and now it gets into this. The red blood cell, I'll go into some more detail, but as it comes from the lungs, the heart, and it pumps down to the big toe and comes back again to the lungs and the, and the heart to, to refill with oxygen. It means that is how we're going to get our oxygen distributed through our entire body. Now for that we need to understand a few things. You've got this hemoglobin now. This is going to sound slightly, slightly technical, but I'm going to break it down very easy for you. So there's a thing called hemoglobin. Now, if you've done your blood test, you know something about hemoglobin. You've heard that word before. But what it actually is, I call it spaghetti and meatballs. It's just spaghetti and meatballs. You've got two, sorry, 300 million of these spaghetti and meatball, uh, meatball plates in one of these red blood cells. That's how small it is. Now, so you need the spaghetti, you need the meatballs. The meatball is the iron. So if you have iron in the cells, you can get this oxygen in the cells and now it, it attaches to the iron, which means you have got oxygen in the cells because there is iron in the, uh, the body. So iron is extremely important. Now, let me know in the comments whether your doctor gave you iron supplementation to do because many are anemic and that's, then they get a prescription of iron. Now, what the doctor did not tell you, you need vitamin C to synthesize your iron. Let me know if your oncologist said you need iron plus vitamin C. Then what's not told is you need copper to extract the iron out of the liver so that you can get iron in the red blood cell. Once again, tell me your comments. Are they giving you saying you need copper to be able to get this iron into that red blood cell? Then the last thing is biotin. You need biotin to be able to absorb vitamin C. So many people on these vitamin C um, trips, uh, drips and they, they take a lot of vitamin C, but if you do not have biotin, you cannot get the vitamin C's into the cells. Can you see how important it is to have the full array of, of nutrition to be able to get to one thing of getting more oxygen in the cells? So. Get out your phone or do a screen grab on this. So we spoke about the iron. The spaghetti part is B6. That's to help build that spaghetti, all right, which is the hemoglobin. So you also need B12 and B9 to make sure that the size of this red blood cell is not small, big and small, big and small. You want a consistent, fully functional red blood cell. So the oxygen is important in the cells because it gives us energy and hence you need to know why is it important and that is one of the videos I've done previously. I'll point you to it in a moment. 
Now, iron is good and bad. You just heard how important iron is. The bad part is that iron is needed for a tumor to grow. Hence the fact, make sure that you subscribe so that you can get these other videos as well and to know what to do. So in the comments, tell me whether your team gave attention to this, even your nutritionist that you got, to see whether they have guided you correctly. For my clients that have got the Qi Profiler, do your recording. That recording is going to tell you, for example, iron, what your levels of iron is, why is it important, and it will tell you also what food you should be eating. Um, if it's for cancer uh, patients, then obviously what, what you need to avoid then, and on that basis you can see what you need to address in the kitchen, not just supplementation. Okay, so go take all of those those uh, nutritions I just spoke about. Look in your in your report to see how you're doing there to be able to get that rectification done. And then with regards to your chi flow, sending your, your quantum codes, type in your hypoxia, your oxygenation, your red blood cells, your iron, and on that basis you are sending the, the healthy frequencies over to the cells. Right, coming back to to those that would like to have another quick review of what they're busy doing, click on the link in the description. It will be able to get, take you to the, the website to be able to fill in that request you'd like, if you would like to get one of your, your questions answered and we can get to do that. Our next one is from Anne from Florida. She's asking whether it's good to drink um, bicarbonated soda, which is your baking soda, to get the body alkaline. So click for that link on top and if you have not watched this video with regards to the real reason for cancer, go click on it and watch that video again. Don't forget to subscribe, do the like and also share with everybody that you feel needs to see this information.